Hunter Biden's story is about the perseverance of, human, of humanity itself. And it shows us, it reminds us that we have unrelenting divinity within us. That's what this George, uh, well, this, this Burgess, his art dealer, says about him. Now, I happen to think that this, he might not be completely wrong here in the sense that Hunter Biden will become one of the most consequential artists in this century, but not because the world needs his art. You don't need his art. I don't need his art. The people paying massive amounts of money don't need his art for his art's sake. They need his art, allegedly, ostensibly, potentially, because of what that art purchase might do. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where the rubber meets the road. So there was testimony before a group of impeachment investigators recently, and that's what I want to get to in the in the moments that we have remaining in today's program, because they found out quite a bit. They found out that there wasn't this wall of separation between Hunter Biden and the names of the people who bought his art, because that was how they were supposedly trying to set this up to say, OK, look, this guy is, a, is an artistic prodigy. We can't punish him. He's got to be able to sell his art. I mean, people are wanting to spend five hundred thousand dollars on this art. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, this is rivals some of the most famous artists that you can think of. What he's getting for some of this art, and so we shouldn't punish him. He's got to be able to sell it. So to prove, to demonstrate that he's not on the take here, there's no funny business going on. We're going to have this wall of separation. George Burgess will do all the handling of the transactions. He'll sell it. Hunter Biden will be behind the curtain, much like Oz is here at the show, and won't know anything going on. Won't know the names, identity. So you can't say that there was some sort of a quid pro quo here going on. There was just an exchange of money for the true value of this piece of art. So is that really what's been going on? 